Okay, I am at 2717 Lockridge, which is Jeremy Schoen's house that we're getting ready to attempt to list. And it is a super unique house. So I couldn't find like really great comps for this. Um, but the other thing is he's got a lot of work that he has to get done in a very short timeline. Uh, because a judge is telling him as part of their divorce that he's supposed to have this listed by Friday. So we went through and talked about all the stuff that he needs to do to get this ready. But I also wanted to do a video walking through to get your guys' consensus on pricing because there's just so much that needs to be done. And I couldn't find really great comps, like I said, that I just want to make sure I'm not pricing it too low like I tend to do. So, okay. So we come inside on this landing. It's a wood look laminate. And you can see that there's no flooring on the stairs or downstairs right now, but that's going to be adjusted. So he's going to put carpet and or this same laminate on the stairs here. And then the downstairs flooring is all going to be the same laminate as well. So you come in and you can see it's a split level that then goes into the living room. And so walking upstairs, hardwood floors up here, wood look laminate in the kitchen. And the kitchen's all really been redone. So kitchen looks really nice. There's a great amount of space in here. We're going to grab one to just let you do that, okay? Okay. Um, deeper sink. And then this goes into the dining room, which is really cool. I mean, like vaulted ceilings in this room. There's a lot of exposed brick. This is a passive solar house, which I think is really cool and could help it sell. So big living room, dining room space here. But there are so many just like half done projects. Like this is a pulley system that opens up the windows outside, but it's like not hooked up right now. Um, okay, so. He has a sunroom and the sunroom is right off of the dining room and you can see it's got these big windows and so this is what the pulley system initially brought down which he could set up again but um this is actually a two level sunroom and so he created this like hammock thing instead of just having it open which looks down into the bottom section of that sunroom um i told him to leave the hammock thing for now i'm not really because otherwise it's just going to be a big open hole so here's onto the deck and I'm not really gonna walk back there right now um, just because there's some pretty big dogs out there. Um, okay, so then back inside the house, I wanna get to all the parts that have like the projects that he's got to do, cause there's a lot. Okay, so here's number one. He has to retexture that area. You can see he's missing paint here, missing light switches. Um, this is bathroom number one, and he's got to do some stuff here. I mean, you can see that the bathtub is kind of like screwed in, and the quarter rail needs to be put back down here. Um, this sink does not really match super well, um, and so I think he's going to be painting this bottom vanity part white to try and make it match a little bit better. Okay, so then back out into the hallway and closet here into the master bedroom. So master bedroom here, and he has scraped the ceiling underneath here, so he's gotta paint that. Um, older carpet in here, but again with the exposed brick, which is cool. I told him he has to put up a door of some sort into the bathroom. Um, you can see where there's some flooring that needs to be done here. The toilet needs to be reset. Vent needs to be fixed, and then he's going to do something with the ceiling. I think he's going to have to scrape it um, and repaint because it's all pretty rough. Okay, um, so lots of work that still needs to be done in this bathroom. And then coming out of here, I mean, you can see the vaulted ceilings again in this house, the exposed brick, which is cool in his room. You go to another room and they did this interesting sort of like Pinterest fail kind of paint job, but I told him honestly to just leave it because it's lower priority on everything else. So again, with the vaulted ceilings and the brick in here, which is all part of that passive solar construction. And then coming out of this, we've got a third bedroom and this is the smallest bedroom in the house, but it's also the most put together. 
Um, I told them to go ahead and take this piece of furniture out just so the walkway is bigger. Um, we'll go ahead and look out this window because it gives you a better idea of the yard and the deck. So here's the deck. And looking out into the yard, it's a pretty big yard, but he's just got a lot of crap back there. I mean, a lot of wood piled in places and stone and things that I've told him he's got to remove because it's messy. Okay, so coming out of this room and now we're going to go downstairs and that's where the projects really get intense. So um, he is thinking that he's going to try to have all of this done by Friday because apparently the judge told him that he has to have this listed by Friday. I don't know if that's actually possible. So we've been talking about those options. Um, I'm going to start at one end and then we'll go to the other. So it's a one car garage and right now it's got stuff in it, you know, but it's a garage. So that's kind of what it is. Um, I'm going to open this door. There's a dog right there, but I really feel like, okay, back up. We need to see. Okay. So he's got this like covered patio thing, but you can see that like the bottom part of all of the siding is off and he's got to put that back on. He just put this window in and the store in and that all needs to be painted. But you can see what I mean about just kind of like piles of stuff and a bit of a mess everywhere that needs to be cleaned up. Of course, this is all mud. I told him that I think he should probably just throw down a tarp and put some rock down um, to make this more presentable. So backyard, okay. And then we're gonna go back inside. I guess the dogs are coming with me. <laughs> and so there's lots of, I mean, like exposed nails and patching and stuff, but it's in this garage, so I don't think that matters. But then coming into the house, laundry room, the ceiling in here looks the same as the garage. And you can see that they've had quite a bit of water damage. And so all of that has been remedied now, but now he needs to, you know, flatten all this out, paint all this, patch what needs to be patched. Okay. Um, and then this, I'm gonna shut this door, it's cold. Okay, this moves into the downstairs area. So again, I told him he's gotta put flooring down. And then this is the fourth bedroom. And you can see he's got carpet in here, but the carpet's been ripped up. And he's gonna put wood look laminate flooring in here as well as the rest of the house. So smaller room down here, but it does have a closet. They did have water intrusion in this basement and that was part of why he ripped out all the stuff underneath the deck here. Um, so he said he doesn't have current water intrusion issues, but he definitely had them. So it's very specific about him having to disclose that. Um, okay, so then walking back out of here and we're going to go into the living room, bathrooms area. Okay, so this is the downstairs half bath. And as you can see, it just really needs to be cleaned up. Door put back on, things like that. Okay, this is the room that needs the most work. So... You can see there's a big hole in the ceiling here. He's got part of this ceiling kind of created. He was going to do a theater in here, but of course, bunches of ideas, nothing really finished. Um, you can see this whole wall is, you know, just the sheetrock exposed, exposure all here. So I told him that all of this needs to be closed up, that he's got to get flooring down um, because otherwise he's going to eliminate FHA and VA buyers entirely. So this room needs um, needs a lot. And I told him to just basically use this white ceiling that he's already created um, and take the lights out of it and put actual white fixtures there and there. Um, so that way he's you know doing as little work as possible to make it presentable because there's so much that has to be done here. I'm just really skeptical that he can do this by Friday. Okay, so um, little sink there. And then here's the bottom part of that sunroom because again it's a two level sunroom and so you come out here and here's that bottom level window door and you can see up to the hammock that I pointed out initially. So I am really unsure about pricing on this so let me know what you think.